Right, guys, we're going to briefly touch on the vigil turned protest turned screaming fit last night. But first of all, happy Mother's Day to all the ladies out there. I hope you all have a great day. Now, back to this lunacy here. As I was saying, it was a vigil, very peaceful, with lots of virtue signalling and some genuine pity, no doubt. Even the old Duchess of Cambridge was spotted walking around the vigil without a care in the world, which I thought was odd, but that's not the topic of this story. And neither really is the vigil itself, because it went as you would expect. It ended up kicking off, the old Bill jumped in and are now being vilified, which to be honest, maybe they deserve. I was always going to shit on them today for the two-tier policing they showed during the vigil. When anti-lockdown protesters stand peacefully, the tactical support group comes in, full riot gear battens out from the start. But even when it descended into madness last night, it was still just community policing attire. This is more proof of the two-tier policing we have witnessed for far too long now. But I feel it should be said that the police are either idiots or playing their part well because them steaming in like they did is exactly what the activists and media tosspots wanted to see. They literally should have ignored it for their own publicity, but to be honest, I don't even really care about that. As I said, the two-tier policing was proven earlier in the day because for like four hours, they let the event go almost unchecked completely. Then, as you see, they decided to come in and give the activists what they wanted. If this was a lockdown protest, they would have been there within minutes, hundreds strong, with riot gear, like I said. But to save face here, they waited as long as they could, or at least until a bunch of radical feminists arrived to protest and screech like wailing banshees. Various guys were on the ground down there, like Subject Access and many others who actually covered it. I think they were there for like six or seven hours in the end. So if any of you want to actually watch what went on, I'll link his channel down below and you can check out the live stream yourself. Obviously though, the police are now being vilified and protests will continue to spawn from this, which is partly a good thing, because this could turn out to be a double-edged sword, really. Now while the virtue signalling and man-hating coming from this is beyond cringe, the more they protest, the more people say enough is enough, in relation to the lockdown, and it stops like it did last year. Remember, after a few BLM riots, Boris opened up the country to some degree and the protests fell off. This could see shit open up quicker if it continues and other protests pop up alongside it. As I said, it could well be good news. Now finally, I feel I should point out something I found funny earlier relating to this. As you know, many of these rabid feminist lunatics online have been screaming about all men being murdering rapists that needs to be educated. Or in the eyes of some dumb fuck politicians, they think we should all be locked up after 6pm. Remember the all men 6pm curfew. I would argue that at the next opportunity for any bill that's appropriate, I might actually put in an amendment to create a curfew for men on the streets after 6pm, which I feel would make women a lot safer. And discrimination of all kinds would be lessened. Now, obviously, in their deluded minds, they also think you can teach animals with the desires to do this shit to magically forget them. Obviously, that is a bullshit fantasy in every way because reality does not work like that. Society will literally always have animals in it, regardless of punishment or education. This is not a man versus woman issue. This is a scumbag versus society issue, as I've said. But that goes without saying, and I'm sure all you lot knew that from the start. But to show just how silly these man-hating lunatics are, they have all been sharing the hashtag dick out, which given they scream about rape, made me chuckle when I see it. I mean, imagine sitting there screaming about men getting their dicks out when you don't want them to while sharing dick out even if it's not related to men actually getting their dicks out, but removing the Met Police Commissioner, which I can actually get behind. The irony of it all though is fucking brilliant in my mind. Radical feminist sharing dick out has to be peak 2021, what do you guys think? But anyway, that's all I have for today and probably won't make another video. I will likely do a live stream later, hopefully with a few guests, so I will see you then. We're off!